Welcome to Uber. Drivers are our most important partners, and we appreciate all you do to keep Uber running smoothly. Let's get started. As a driver with Uber, you're able to go online whenever you want and find people who need rides anywhere in your city. To load the app, tap the Uber Partner icon on your phone and sign in with your username and password. Your username is usually your email address. Once you're signed into the app, select a vehicle and you will see a button that says Go Online. Once you're online, you will start to receive trip requests. So don't go online if you're not ready to drive. When a rider requests a trip, the driver closest to that rider automatically receives the trip request. That means that when you get a trip request, there is no driver on the road in a better position to accept that trip. Your phone will start beeping, and the screen will flash. Tap the screen to accept. It's important that you accept most trips because it ensures that riders can get a ride quickly. If you are online, you are expected to accept most trip requests. Once you have accepted the trip, drive to the rider's pickup location. You can tap the arrow to get turn-by-turn -turn directions. The app will automatically send the rider a notification when you are almost there. Tap Arrived once you get to the pickup location. If your rider entered the destination, you will hear this sound. If the rider did not enter the destination, you can enter it into the app. Your rider may not be ready right away, so we suggest waiting a few minutes before calling or texting. Riders generally prefer text messages to phone calls, but make sure you follow all driving laws. Once the rider is in your car, ask for their name to make sure it's the right person. Saying something like, what is your name, please, is more effective than asking, are you Chris? If you say that, the person could pretend to be your rider, Chris. All trips through Uber must be prearranged. According to regulations, e-hailing, or picking up riders who have not requested through the app, is against the law and can result in citations and fines. When you know you have the right rider, slide the blue button to begin the trip. If your rider entered their destination, you will see the route to the destination in your app. Confirm the rider's destination by asking something like, Are we still headed to 11 West 53rd Street? Tap the arrow for turn-by-turn -turn directions to the destination. Once you arrive, slide the red button to end the trip. Payments are calculated automatically and both you and the rider will be prompted to leave a rating for each other. When you're done, just tap Go Online and you're ready to accept another trip. After every completed trip, your rider can leave a rating for you, between 1 and 5 stars. You can also rate your rider. This two-way rating system helps Uber provide the best experience for both riders and drivers. Your overall rating is the average of all the ratings your riders give you. For example, if you completed four trips and your ratings were 4, 5, 5, and 5, your overall rating would be 4.75. If your rating falls below your city standard, you may lose access to the Uber system. We want to help you provide the best experience possible. So here are some tips on how to become a five-star driver. Be on time. When you accept a trip request, your rider gets an ETA, or estimated time of arrival. Your rider will plan around that ETA, so it's important to be on time. Being late to a pickup often results in a lower rating, so only accept a trip request if you are in your car and ready to drive. Know your city. Not using the quickest route possible is the most common reason that riders rate below 5 stars. The better you can navigate, the happier your riders will be. And taking the most direct route means you can complete more trips per hour, so you'll earn more in your time on the road. It's a good idea to start off in a neighborhood you know well, but as you drive more, you'll become more familiar with the best routes and shortcuts. Remember, you can also use navigation in the Uber Partner app. Just tap the arrow to start turn-by-turn -turn directions. 
Keep it clean. It's a good idea to maintain a clean car and dress well. Riders appreciate and respect drivers who provide an enjoyable and professional experience. Strong smells of any kind can make riders uncomfortable in your car. That includes body odor, strong cologne, and air fresheners. It's best if the rider doesn't notice how your car smells at all. Always be safe. Your contract with Uber requires that you keep your vehicle in great mechanical condition at all times. That means no visible body damage, no squeaky brakes, and seat belts for every rider. All of your documents, for example, your license, registration, and insurance must be valid and current. When your riders are comfortable, they are more likely to give you a great rating. So make sure to follow all traffic laws and avoid braking too quickly or accelerating abruptly. Pay attention to details. Our top partners consistently get five stars because they provide little perks to their riders, like having an extra phone charger in their car or offering a bottle of water on a hot day. Some partners even open the door for the riders to make the experience feel extra special. Being a professional also means maintaining a positive attitude. Arguing with your rider is never a good idea and can lead to low ratings. Try to stay cheerful. Both you and your rider will have a better experience. The Uber experience is built to work without a phone call. Generally, riders prefer to receive a text rather than a phone call, unless a phone call is absolutely necessary. However, if your rider calls you, pull over safely and answer, as they may have important instructions for pickup. Uber will automatically send your rider a message when you are getting close to the pickup location, so they will know to be ready. However, the rider may not be at the pickup location right away. Wait a few minutes before calling your rider. If you have waited more than five minutes at the pickup location and called the rider with no response, you can cancel. To do so, tap Info, then tap Cancel Trip. Then choose from the list of reasons given, in this case, Rider No-Show. When you accept a trip, you should always try to complete the trip. However, if something comes up, you can cancel using the option Do Not Charge Rider. We make it easy for you. Uber automatically charges clients for tolls and reimburses partners every week, so you'll never need to ask clients to pay tolls. It's a good idea to carry an electronic toll-paying device in your car. Riders expect drivers to have these devices, so they don't have to slow for tolls. If you have one, you may even get higher ratings as a result. Sometimes trips don't go as planned. That's okay. Uber support is here to help. Once you've arrived at the destination, slide the red button to end the trip. Uber uses the trip data to calculate the fare, which then appears in the app. At this point, you will also be asked to rate the rider from 1 to 5 stars. Submit your rating, and you'll see two buttons. If the fare appears to be wrong, or if you have an issue on the trip, tap Get Fare Review. Choose the option that best reflects your situation, and Uber support will respond quickly. If the fare looks normal, tap Go Online and you'll be ready to accept the next trip that comes your way. Uber is a cashless app. That's one reason why riders love using it and why Uber has been able to grow so quickly. Cashless means that all transactions are handled electronically through the app. If you encounter a technical issue that results in an incorrect fare for the trip, please let us know by submitting a fare review. Please do not ask the rider to pay for the trip in cash. It goes against our terms of service agreement and your contract with Uber. It also creates an uncomfortable experience for the rider. 
Let us handle any payment issues, so you have more time to focus on providing five-star service. Riders love being able to hop out of the car without fumbling for cash once they arrive at their destination. That's a big part of the Uber experience, so we tell riders that tipping is not required. If a rider does offer a tip, please remind them that tipping is not necessary. However, if the rider insists, you can accept the tip. You've earned it. Please remember to check your car for lost items as riders exit the vehicle. It always helps to ask the rider if they have everything. Cell phone, keys, wallet. If you find a lost item in your vehicle, use the support section in the Partner app to let us know. Tap on the trip shown at the top of the screen if you have a lost item from your most recent trip. If the item was left by a rider from an earlier trip, tap View More Trips to find the correct one. Once you have the right trip, tap I found an item in my vehicle. Tap on the camera icon to take a picture of the item left in your vehicle. Then write a short description of the item and submit. We will contact you with information about returning the lost item to the rider. Please do not request payment from the rider for the return of a lost item. Drivers who do so will lose access to the Uber system. When there are more requests for rides coming in than the available drivers can accept, prices go up to encourage drivers to go online. We call this surge. Adjusting prices during times of high demand brings more drivers onto the road. That means more people can get rides, drivers earn more money, and our system is reliable for everyone who uses it. Surge pricing is based on the time and location of a rider's request not the driver's location. If the request comes from outside the surge area, or you accepted the trip before surge, the fare will be at the normal rate. Due to high demand, surge pricing is most likely to be in effect during rush hour and bad weather, on busy holidays, and for city-specific events such as sporting events and concerts. The Uber Partner app will show a heat map of surging areas in your city. Unshaded areas have low demand for rides. Yellow areas have normal demand. Orange areas are very busy. Red areas are surging. Different areas can surge at different levels. For instance, one neighborhood might be surging at 1.5 times the regular rate, and another might be surging at twice the rate. Drive to nearby orange and red areas to find rides easily. Uber always needs more driver partners. If you know someone who may be interested in driving with Uber, invite them to apply and you'll earn money once they start driving. You can refer in the app by clicking this button. Or from your dashboard by clicking here. You will only earn the reward if your friend signs up using your specific invite code. When your friend signs up to drive, they should enter your invite code so you get the reward. If they didn't enter your invite code, Uber won't know that you referred them, so we won't be able to give you the reward. You can find your invite code by clicking Refer in the Partner app. The screen looks like this. Referring new partners is a great way to earn more with Uber. When driving with Uber, it's important that your car and your driving are safe and legal. Always carry your current driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance. Make sure you have a working seatbelt for every rider and that your car is in great working condition. If anything is faulty, such as the lights, brakes, windshield wipers, or tires, you should not drive. Never go online if you are too tired to drive safely. And remember that Uber has a zero-tolerance policy for using alcohol or drugs when driving. 
Do not text or call while driving. If you need to get in touch with your rider, find a safe spot to pull over and then call or send a text. Using the app while driving should not distract you from following all driving laws and staying safe. Some features, like turn-by-turn -turn navigation through voice, were even designed to let you focus on the road. It's also a good idea to use a mount to hold your phone so that you can keep your eyes on the road and hands on the wheel. You do not have to accept a trip with a pet, but in accordance with accessibility laws, you do have to accept service animals into your car. Guide dogs and other service animals are highly trained, but feel free to keep a towel in your car and have the animal sit on the towel. If you are ever involved in an accident while on an Uber trip, be sure to notify Uber as soon as you can safely do so.